Hello. Today we're going to do something slightly different. Uh, about a year ago, I started making myself a CNC machine, which was going to be laser, it was going to have a, um, a Dremel kind of attachment, um, and I did want to make it into a 3D printer as well. Now, partway through the build, I just lost confidence in what I was doing, and myself, and so on, and in the end, it got put to one side, and left for dead. Now I've decided, now I've set up my YouTube channels, I would like to make it again because there's a few projects up and coming that would be extremely handy to have something that can cut things out and something that can create things. So, I'll show you what I had done and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing next. This is the setup I made. It's a bit, bit higgledy-piggledy. It's got an Arduino powering it. It's got three stepper drivers. Um, this fan sucks air from the Arduino and from above it and then sprays it across these so they don't overheat. And my Arduino looks like it's been kicked a bit too hard. And then it's all soldered on at the back, which I'll have to check and just sort of figure out how I made it and so on, so I can't remember. Okay, I've got some poles. I've got loads of bearings and various other bits and pieces. Linear bearings, some screws that have nothing to do with it, and various other bits and pieces. So that's for us to use in a bit. Then I made this was the X, well, one of the axes, axes, axi, axi, don't know, whatever. But it's, it's not good. I'm going to have to remake all of that completely. And then this was the bed, which I was very. Yeah, it worked. It worked quite well, actually. This might be a bit I keep with it. I'm going to check how square it is and stuff. But when I made this, I didn't have any power tools at all. I made all this by hand. So hopefully I can make it a lot more, a lot straighter and a lot more accurate. So let's get on with this and hope you enjoy it. So first of all, I just need to check all bits to see if it's square. Surprisingly, it is. I'm going to remake it all, remake it from the start. So let's take this apart first. Can I find with these? They're cheap linear bearings and if you can hear that, some of the bearings fall out every time you use them, which is probably not the best thing in the world. Okay, that's solid in there, so we'll leave that and see if we can get it out if we need it later on. Actually, save what we can now. Right.
Something's smashed into that and broken it. I'll see if I can fix it later. If not, I'll have to buy another one. Which is a shame. I didn't want to have to buy anything for this project. Oh well, we'll see. So we have three step motors. Three long screw thingy jobbies. We have two poles corresponding to each two foot to each one of them. So for example, that can be how the thing slides along. Fine. We have all of these bits and pieces, and we have the control setup that I need to test to see if it still works. You know it's never a good thing when you start a project and have to go backwards before you go forwards. But we're gonna we're gonna do this this time, so stay tuned. <laughs> 